Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Rogers Hobby Center in Saginaw, Michigan, where the fun begins. This review covers the Mac DM800 Heavy Duty Tractor. It's a 125 scale kit from MPC number 899. Now, it was originally released in 1971. And it looks like there's been at least half a dozen other versions, including a cement mixer and trailers, along with standalone tractors. Now this issue was released in 2018, and it has the box art from the original release. Now this uh, kit had uh, 200 pieces molded in white, black, clear red, clear chrome, black vinyl tubing, black vinyl tires, and water slide decals. It's, it's designed for the uh, intermediate to advanced modeler. And when you're finished, it'll be about 11 and a half inches long, 4 and 3 quarter inches wide, and 4 and 3 quarter inches high. Now the chrome parts uh, were painted, um, that got painted. We, I stripped those off in some household bleach prior, and then um, used some dish soap to mildly uh, uh, wash them off and clean them up. Now we discovered some issues with this kit, and they're mostly due to warped parts, uh, as you'll see. But that's what we do uh, these reviews for, so that you can find out about them and make corrections to avoid those issues. Oh, oh, that's uh, that's my new program director, Newt. Um, uh, hey, Newt, uh, you got a question for us? Yeah, Doug. Why don't you just fix those issues as you go along? Well, that's a good question, and one of the main reasons we started this channel. Quite often, you can't tell there's a problem until you put the last pieces together. I call it the stack up. You know, if we find an issue, we'll let you know about it beforehand so that you can avoid it. What does that mean? Well, if some fit issues can't be seen by looking at the offending piece by itself. It's only after you put it together with other parts that the stacks of dimensions shows a problem. If the last parts you assemble are at the end, it's too late to fix it because it's already painted or you could no longer get at the offending part. Wow, I sure like the colors. Is that a custom paint job? Um, I think it might be one, but uh, Mac had been releasing patriotic designs in the 70s way before the bicentennial. So it looks like it could have been a limited edition. So here's a layout of all the contents in the kit. And even though there's a lot of pieces here, my version of the open box review will still only take you about 10 seconds. We'll be using a variety of he adhesives here. And uh, we'll let you know what those are as we go along. Mostly though just two blues so that parts can be positioned. But sometimes super glue for strength and white glue up for those clear parts. Here are the decals for the kit. The register is excellent and they're pretty colorful. Those nice white stripes, they all fit pretty well and went on well. You still may need some setting solution uh, to keep them on the contours of the body. Now remember to heed any of the manufacturer's safety and use uh, guidelines when you use or, uh, any of the parts that you hear or see in the review. Construction starts with these pieces for the suspension. And we're going to assemble the rear axle halves, and then we're going to give them a, a base coat of dark gray, followed by some testers um, 1110 blue. Repeat this process for the uh, second rear axle assembly, and then the left uh, rear leaf spring halves and the rights are assembled and painted the same way. A little bit of flash sticking out from the axle shaft, so go ahead and trim that off. That's not part of the uh, piece. We'll start on the uh, wheel assemblies, but note that there's a, a center core there that has to be carefully removed with a sharp hobby knife. But uh, be careful not to cut too much out uh, and uh, of where your fingers are, of course. We'll uh, gather these pieces now to start working on some of the wheels. And um, you, show, you see here the middle rim half, that's 163 BK, and the rear axle hub is 164. And the back rim half 167 are all painted uh, gloss black. And then the hub cap is attached to the rear front rim half of 165 CR. And the right 
front rim assembly then attached to the middle rim half. Now the rear axle hub 164 BK is slid into the back rim half and then the back rim half assembly is attached to the other side of the middle rim half. Now be careful not to get glue on the rear axle hub if you want them operational. So install two tires onto the assembly and then repeat this process for the other three wheels assemblies. Now the front axle hub, that's part 188 BK and the back rim half, that's part 141 W, they get painted gloss black and the front axle hub is installed into the back rim half and then the back rim half assembly can be attached to the front rim half. Now use caution when gluing in the front axle if it's to be operational and repeat this process for the second front tire assembly. Get these cross tube pieces uh, out of the kit there and the halves are uh, put together and then the cross tube assembly and all four of the parts there 161 BK there they're painted with the um, base coat of uh, dark gray and, and they're followed by testers uh, 110 uh, or 1110 blue. Now the cross tube assembly then is installed into the left and right rear leaf spring assemblies and then the rear axle assembly is installed into one end of both leaf spring assemblies and two of those parts uh, 161 BK and they're attached then to the rear axle assembly locking it to the leaf springs. Now you repeat this for the second axle assembly there in the rear and for the other two 161 BKs. And just a note of caution, now remember you must scrape paint or chrome plating off of the parts if you expect them to get a good hold when you glue them together. Now look for these pieces in the kit and parts 154 and 155 BK are then assembled uh, and they are painted with the um, uh, just like the other pieces for the suspension here and <clears throat> before the assembly is attached to the front rear axle assembly. Now uh, both 162 BK pieces are assembled and painted uh, with the uh, the gray uh, and then the uh, 1110 blue before it's installed into those assemblies uh, we just put together. Now the drive shaft 169 CR is first given a, uh, a bleach bath to remove the chrome plating and then it gets painted uh, in the same manner as the other parts. Now the drive shaft can be attached to uh, assembly of uh, 162 BK. Parts 153 BK and 2 BK are assembled and painted first with, uh, with the same way and then the uh, part 197 is attached to 199 CR and then part 199 CR can be installed into the rear axle hub of the uh, rear tire assembly. Now the tire assembly is installed onto the driver's side, that's the left, of the axle assembly and you repeat that for the rear driver's side uh, tire assembly. Now part 179 CR can be attached to 198 and then that is installed into the rear axle hub of the rear tire assembly too. Now the tire assembly is installed onto the passenger side, that's the right side of the axle assembly and you repeat for the second rear passenger side tire assembly. There's an ejector pin that was broken and uh, left some uh, debris here on my tie rod end so just trim that off and smooth it out. Now you can gather up these pieces and the uh, tie rod there which was chrome uh, got the uh, beach bleach bath and uh, to remove it and then they were painted in the same way as the other parts and parts 126 and 7 BK are assembled together onto the right side uh, of part 124 BK. Now be careful not to uh, uh, get glue on that part if you want the steering operational. And then parts 125 and 128 BK are assembled onto the left side of part 124 BK. The tie rod is then attached to 127 and 8 by heating a hobby knife or a screwdriver and melting the uh, ends that protrude through uh, to keep the tie rod in place. Grab these parts and uh, you know finish those in similar fashion, and then uh, part number 160 BK that, uh, gets attached to 159 BK, and then part uh, that part is slid into part 133 BK. Now uh, part 158 BK gets attached to 
to part 160 BK locking it into 133. Next you can locate the uh, frame and attentive pieces here uh, and watch for uh, part number 133 BK because uh, 132 BK they have holes uh, in them for the tail lights. Now part 180 BK is attached to 120 and, and 121 next to the rear cab supports and then one of the 189 BKs are attached to 120 BK and the other uh, 189 is attached to 121. Now the chassis assembly can be painted uh, gray followed by the uh, blue color. Next we'll assemble the uh, left front leaf spring halves and the right uh, front leaf spring halves and they're painted the same way as the other chassis pieces. Now part 143 is slid on uh, to a post on part 144 CR uh, without glue and then that is attached to part 121 BK. Now part 145 is attached to part 142 and then it's attached to part 144 CR. Locate this bracket piece 182 BK and paint it the same as the other chassis parts and then attach it uh, to part 121 BK by the front cab support. Now the front axle assembly is attached to both front leaf spring assemblies. So locate these pieces and 183 BK uh, gets painted and um, it's attached to part 120 BK by the front cab support. Now part 211 CR is attached to uh, 210 CR and then part 212 uh, is attached to part 211 CR. Now parts uh, 211CR and 210CR assemblies then attach to the right side of 180BK. Get the shelves and battery boxes etc out here and uh, we're going to uh, attach parts 204 to 205CR. Now both 202CR uh, pieces are attached to the indents on 205 and uh, part number 206 is attached to the top right section of part 205CR. Now the 205 CR and 5 assembly then are attached to part 182 BK and 180 BK. Part 195 is attached to 196 and then that assembly is attached to the left frame rail at 121 BK. Part number 201 then is attached to 220 uh, CR and then 220 CR assembly is attached to 121 BK covering a portion of the part 195 CR. Now we can get out these parts to the other side and then uh, part number 193 CR is attached to 194 and then that assembly is attached to the right frame rail at 120 BK and then 201 is attached to uh, 220 CR and then that assembly is attached to 120 BK covering a part of one part 194 CR. 208 then is attached to 209 and parts 206 and 7 CR are attached to part 208 CR. Part 181 BK then is painted uh, in a similar manner as the frame and then the um, uh, it's attached to part 120 BK between the right uh, front leaf spring and uh, 211 and 10 CR assembly. Now 209 CR assembly can be attached to part 181 BK. I'll locate these parts from the kit uh, but note that part 150 BK and 218 BK have a section that needs to be trimmed off. So refer to the, the bottom right corner here and uh, that page on step 11. Then parts 190 uh, and 150 BK and 218 are painted again just like the rest of the frame and one of the 190 BKs is attached to the left frame rail and then the other is attached to the right frame rail. Now attach the parts uh, 150B and 218BK to the cross tube assembly 171 on the rear tire assembly and to each other. Now once the glue is dry you can attach 150BK and 218BK to the chassis assembly. Now we can begin work on the engine uh, but before we um, uh, get going here uh, there's a part number 30CR, 31CR that needs to be trimmed uh, for this assembly so uh, look for that and get that done and then the left and right engine halves 
are assembled and painted red with some aluminum uh, uh, appointments and both cylinder heads are painted red and attached to the engine. Now be sure the tab on the left cylinder head is facing the front of the engine assembly. Part 5W gets painted red and attached to the engine and the front cover uh, chrome piece uh, 33CR then is attached to the front of the engine. Now gather these pieces and then the starter part 23CR gets painted semi-gloss black before being attached to the uh, engine and 7W is painted gold and then attached to 5W. Now parts 19 and 29CR are attached to part 7W. Part number 39BK gets painted uh, flat black and then attached to the right side of the engine assembly and the front cover. I'll look up these parts and the uh, part number 28CR it gets painted semi-gloss black and attached to the front engine cover. Now the belt is painted uh, flat black and tester semi-gloss black for the pulleys and it's attached to the front engine cover. The fan is painted semi-gloss black and it gets attached to the belt. Now both parts 21CR are assembled and attached to the notch on the left cylinder head. Gather up these pieces for the next step and the following parts get painted aluminum. Uh, 9, 89, BK, 4 and 6W before they get attached to the transmission. Now there's four valve covers 18CR that get attached to both cylinder heads 3W. Now part 25CR is attached between the two valve covers 18CR on each side of the engine. The four pieces of 26CR then are assembled and attached to 5W. Part 20CR you see here is attached to the left side of the engine assembly. Find these parts next and uh, parts numbered um, 12, 11, 12, and 13 BK get painted semi-gloss black as well as 24 CR. Then part 11 BK is attached to the interior side of the left cylinder head and part 12 BK is attached to the interior side of the right cylinder head. Now part 13 BK can be attached to the exterior sides of both cylinder heads. 35 and 34 CR are then assembled and attached to part 13 BK and part 26 CR assemblies. So part 24 CR then is attached to 11 and 12 BK and 35 CR and part 27 CR is attached to part 11 BK. Using these pieces part number 146 CR is attached to parts 125 BK and 143 CR. Now part 134 BK gets painted with the gray and blue uh, treatment and then it's attached between the left and right front leaf springs. Now parts 16 and 17 CR are assembled and then attached to the right frame rail. Okay in these um, pictures you see that the triangular pieces there and the rod, link rod, they're going to get painted uh, with the gray and the blue and then uh, both uh, pieces 162 there um, they need to be assembled and installed on the part 6W and the completed engine assembly then is snapped into the chassis assembly. Um, you don't uh, need to use any glue just yet but put it into place. Now part 168CR, the chrome disc, uh, is installed between 162BK assembly and the 154 and 5 assemblies. Now part 22CR is attached to uh, part number 74 BK on the chassis assembly and on the front engine cover. Now as you see here both pieces of part 10 BK are assembled and then painted uh, semi-gloss black before being attached to uh, the 210-211 CR assembly and part 34 uh, CR on the engine assembly as well. Now if it's a tight running uh, fit there up you just push it up in between the engine mounts and the engine and wiggle it in there. So I recommend not gluing the engine uh, assembly in uh, up into place until this part's installed. So then you can go ahead and and get that uh, glued down to the motor mounts after you get this part in there. Locate these parts on the chrome tree and then part 137 uh, CR is attached to 139 and then the assembly then is attached to one of the front tire assemblies and this tire assembly can be attached to the left side of the front axle assembly. Now part 137CR is attached to 138. 
and then that assembly is attached to the other front tire assembly. Now the tire assembly is attached to the right side uh, of the front axle assembly. The grill, part number 74W, gets taped off to be spray painted uh, blue and then once that's um, that paint is dry, the tape is removed and then the grill 74W can be taped off to be painted gloss red. Um, now both pieces of 37BK are assembled and painted um, flat black and then don't attach grill part number 74W and the 37BK assembly at this time. Now you can carefully uh, remove the uh, letter parts here from the tree um, either use a very uh, good set of, of snips or uh, just use a hobby knife and make sure that you cut them off cleanly and then clean them up nicely and you can uh, attach those to the grill number 74 from the back side. So we'll get started with the um, the body with front fenders here and these uh, the front fenders get painted uh, gloss red and decaled with the white stripes uh, before being um, oversprayed with some clear coat. Now both parts, uh, 103CR are detailed and then Model Master's uh, turn signal amber, amber can be used there. Uh, carefully scratch the chrome plating off the backs of both 103 and 105 CR and both of the 80 CRs. Now on part 71 W, carefully remove paint and uh, possibly decal where each of these parts will attach um, so that the glue will hold the part in place. Now use some caution so as not to mess up the decals or the paint job on uh, the fenders. Attach parts number 103 and 105 CR to both sides of 71W. Then attach both 80 CRs to the front of 71W. The clear headlights can be attached to both 80 CR with some clear part cement or some white glue and then uh, once again be careful with the decals uh, or they might crack. Next you can clean up the, uh, the body of the cab uh, look for any uh, parting lines or flash that needs to be trimmed and sanded off. It's in pretty good shape but uh, there are some issues you want to clean up. Then tape it off and spray it with some bright blue and uh, once the paint's dry then the body is taped off again to paint the uh, uh, rest of that uh, with the gloss red. Now the decals can be uh, applied to the body and then the body sprayed with some clear coat. Part 62W gets painted blue and then installed into the body and part 112CR then is installed into the body assembly on the inside of the cab roof. Now you can carefully remove the windows from the sprue and then install those into the body using some uh, clear part cement or white glue. Do a little work on the interior with these parts and part number 43 BK gets attached to the bottom of 46 BK and then 44 and 5 BK are attached to the top part of 46 BK assembly. The 46 BK assembly then is uh, painted uh, the light gray and then or dark gray and then a uh, blue and then uh, 42 BK gets attached to 41 BK and then that assembly is painted testers brown. Now 41 BK can be attached to 46 BK. We'll work on the other seat and it gets similar treatment except different some different pieces there. Part 48 uh, BK and uh, that gets attached to part 49 BK and that assembly is painted uh, once again gray then blue and part 50 BK is attached to 47 BK and that assembly gets painted brown. Now 47 BK assembly gets attached to 48 BK assembly. So grab the interior tub and the uh, chrome pieces you see here. And we're going to paint the tub uh, flat black and then blue uh, like the rest and then we're also going to uh, then take parts uh, 60 CR and 61 CR and detail those with some flat black and attach them to the interior. Now parts 57 and 63 CR are painted flat black and also attached to the interior and part 58 CR then is attached to the interior as well. Now go ahead and um, attach the uh, driver's seat assembly to the interior bucket and then uh, followed by the passenger seat. 
Now parts 52 and 3BK are attached to 51BK before that assembly uh, gets painted uh, with the light gray and the blue and then uh, 51 BK can be installed into the interior assembly there and after looking it over um, it looked like maybe instead of in the center this thing should be shifted over to the uh, passenger door side um, but the instructions aren't real clear um, so uh, use your discretion there let's work on the dash and the uh, steering here and part 40 BK gets painted uh, uh, with the uh, gray then blue and uh, detailed with some silver and semi-gloss black. Now 55 BK gets painted semi-gloss black and attached to 40 BK. Now the part number 56 CR gets detailed with some flat black and attached to 40 BK and 59 CR is attached uh, and detailed with semi-gloss black uh, and attached to part 55 BK. Now the 40 BK assembly can be attached to the interior. Locate these parts and then spray part 78W uh, gloss red and attach it to the right side of the body. Then the door handle 109CR, the MAC emblem 85CR and the grab handle 79CR are attached to the right side of the body assembly. Get a hold of both uh, halves of the exhaust 88CR and assemble those and attach it to the right side of the body. Now part 87CR gets attached to the uh, 88 CR assembly and 90 CR can be attached between 87 CR and the body. These parts for the mirror and part 94 and 113 CR get attached to the 88 CR assembly and then part 80, 83 CR the frame gets attached to parts 94 and 113. Now the mirror is attached to the bar uh, that's part 83 CR. Seen here part uh, 112W is painted uh, blue before it being attached to the body assembly and 77W gets painted gloss white and detailed with some red before it's attached to the body too. Next we'll work with more chrome parts and the, uh, the name uh, model script emblem here 66CR and the MAC emblem 86CR, the door handle 109 and both windshield wipers 104, grab handle 79 and the door mirror frame 83 CR are attached to the left side of the body assembly. Then the door mirror 83 CR is attached to the door mirror frame. Now the five roof lights uh, 99 CR get detailed with some turn signal amber and four of them then are uh, glued to the roof of the body. Now the air horn base uh, 82 CR is attached to the air horn 81. Now repeat for the second air horn and then attach the air horn assemblies to the roof as well. The air conditioner is optional. However, uh, if it's not going to be used, the holes would need to be filled in on the roof cab assembly. Now the air conditioner is sprayed uh, with some bright blue 1210 bright blue and part 98 BK gets painted uh, semi-gloss black and attached to part 76W before that assembly can be attached to the roof of the cab. Now part 75W gets painted with the testers 1210 bright blue before it's attached to the roof of the cab as well and the fifth roof light then is attached to uh, 75W. Now you can test fit the interior tub and in uh, looking for your glue points um, make sure that you've got good places to um, uh, add adhesive and then glue the body assembly into the body uh, and attach that to the chassis uh, locating that um, incorrectly as well. Assemble both halves of parts 15 BK and then those get painted with the uh, light gray and some 1110 blue before it's attached to the cab assembly. Now uh, both 14 BK halves are assembled and painted uh, flat black before being attached to between uh, 35 CR and the body. Now part 129 BK gets painted uh, testers gloss black and attached between the body assembly and the 142-145 CR assemblies. If, it kind of looks like uh, part 129 BK should be a little bit longer. Uh, to have a better fit between the two parts. Uh, so uh, 
check that out uh, and test fit and if so you may want to lengthen it. Now you can install the fender assembly to the chassis and then the radiator assembly and uh, that gets attached to the chassis and it locks the fender assembly into place. There are two pieces number 100 CR you see here and it gets detailed with some uh, turn signal amber and some model master stoplight red before they're attached to the fender. Now the part 8BK can be painted flat black and is attached between the engine assembly and the radiator assembly. Look up these pieces and we're going to paint part 96BK uh, gloss black and attach it between the cab assembly and the radiator assembly. Now both 67 BK pieces are painted flat black and attached between the engine and the radiator assemblies and both 97 BK uh, pieces uh, if they're used they get painted gloss black and will attach to part 96 BK and the fender holding the fender up. I'll get the uh, right and left fender section 72 and 3W and tape those off and spray them with uh, the 1210 blue that's the bright blue and then what that color uh, when that's dry you could tape it off again and spray the other portion a gloss red. Now the stripe decal then are applied to both fenders. The two hood latches uh, parts 110 CR, a hood emblem 91 CR and the Mac emblem 89 CR then are attached to each hood section and those sections are installed onto the cab assembly and the radiator assembly. Now get these parts out and then the uh, grill assembly gets attached to the radiator. So look for your gluing points there and uh, make sure that you get a good bond by scraping the paint off. Then the radiator cap 93CR and the Mac Dog 84, uh, they get attached to the grill. The copyright script on the underside of the fenders can just be lightly sanded off um, or you can just paint over it there on the underside. So find the fenders and flaps there. We're going to paint both uh, the fenders 200W uh, with some of the bright blue paint. And then all four of the mud flaps are painted uh, flat black. Now two of the mud flaps are attached to the rear fender 200W. And then the fender assemblies can be attached to the chassis. Uh, get these parts out and the uh, clear red lens gets attached to the tail light bezel 101CR with some clear part cement there. Repeat for the second tail light assembly and then attach both of the assemblies and 102CR uh, to part number 132BK on the chassis. Now we're going to attach the front bumper. Once again make sure that you find your glue points um, and use um, uh, uh, a hobby knife to scrape off the uh, chrome where you glue it on. There's also an optional radiator guard here uh, that you can place on the bumper before you glue it into position. Now we can work on the uh, coupling, uh, the fifth wheel there, and we're going to uh, use these pieces. And they're painted uh, with the uh, light gray spray uh, undercoating and then the uh, 1210 bright blue. Now um, part 187BK is attached to the chassis over part 133BK. And then part 184BK is attached to the left side of 187 and part 185 is attached to the right side. Well, there you have it. Your model is complete, and if you used all your optional parts, you shouldn't have much left. This thing is really stunning in its uh, patriotic livery, and um, it really looks great. I, if I saw one of these coming down the road, that would be a real head turner for me. Now, it can be uh, assembled in, in fairly easy fashion, but you will have to watch for some of the warpage and pieces that we've talked about that don't just see a uh, quite line up quite right uh, before you assemble them and we pointed those out here so that you shouldn't have any problems but if I were you I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. Well we hope you like this premium step-by-step -step scale model kit review and so that you don't miss any more please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon in the lower right of any of our reviews and you can find us on Facebook and our website right on replicas.com. Thanks.